Hey there, it's Robin Raskin again, live from IMAX at Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, destination, travel, events, but all infused with the tech forward, video forward, look at how this industry is constantly shifting. One thing you may notice about this interview we're about to do, we did not coordinate this ahead, Matching. right? You got the memo That's I sent. That's right, I got the memo. Right. Right, so Pink is the color of the day. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's definitely like we're like men in black with purple. Um, but Lisa Farrell is really a force at uh, Meet You, her company, as well as in the events industry. And I always use, she's kind of like a, a touchstone who will talk honestly about where we are at any moment in time. And this moment feels like a beginning of a new Gen 2 of the events world, right? A little bit, a little bit. It's interesting. I mean, I've been I've been doing virtual events like well before the pandemic. So it's like watching watching this roller coaster has been fascinating. Living this roller coaster has been fascinating. I think coming into going into 2024, right, it feels like we've reached a point of sanity as it relates to virtual events. We had everybody wanting to go, like we all had to go back in person. We're in person here, I'm loving it. I'm loving getting to meet you for the first time in person, right? So that's great. It's understandable that people said, I wanna get out from behind my computers. I wanna get face to face. So that happened. But now people are, I think, realizing that, wait a minute, there were great benefits to virtual. Um, I've got a hybrid workforce. It's going to be a part of my strategy right. one way or another. Right. So I do feel like sanity is returning. Sanity's <laughs> returning, balance is returning, an, an equilibrium, but it's leaving a lot of people, even during the pandemic, half of the companies who showcased in an event tech area couldn't differentiate themselves from one another. They That's all did true. the same thing. So tell me about how Meet You, what you do, and how you ah. differentiate yourself. Let's go back to that. That's great. So, so Meet You is a virtual first company. So we certainly help lots of customers do hybrid events. So you can stream live from anywhere. We own our own streaming platform, so that sets us apart. It's our own streaming platform that is streamed into our virtual environments. We own it all. We've been doing it for a very long time. But we are virtual first because number one, we really care about the environment and want to be sustainable. And we believe in kind of empowering this reach and all the things that virtual can do. Our environments are very visually driven. So if you were to go around the room, even the event tech companies, the virtual event companies uh, exhibiting here, they all look a little bit alike. A li now, you might say. You might say. Now we're not a metaverse. We, you don't have to walk around with your own avatar. We are very point and click, but we truly believe in visuals. Design gets people excited. When you enter into a Meet You event, you know that it's not a web page. something's happening. That's our goal. We've got a lot of research behind that. So that's, I think, what sets us apart. And the other thing that I think is important for people to know is we're 100% managed service. So that's the other thing the pandemic did. A lot of companies wanted to ride the wave. They launched software and said, buy us, license us, you're gonna use us across your, your entire yeah. enterprise. Not really. If you need to do an event, we work with you and we do all the heavy lifting. So that's what really sets us apart. I mean, we believe in the technology that empowers events and we're going to help you create amazing events. Yeah, and and I think you're really smart. We know the metaverse, and we know the metaverse is gonna work out, you know. It's gonna be probably enterprise first, a bunch of people designing cars in a collaborative space. But, you know, engagement, and we've talked about this through all of the pandemic, how hard it was for people to feel engaged and present yes. during a virtual event. But you've done a lot to, as you said, with design, with um, to, to really make that feel better. So now, what's next for you guys? Are you is that AI word coming into play? Well, you kind of can't get away from it. Um, our take on AI, right? Everywhere you go, you can read about AI for event planners. Awesome. There's so many ways you can use it to be more productive. I'm trying my best to learn every week something new with AI to help me be more productive. What our vision is, what our CTO's vision is, is to put AI in the hands of the attendees. So instead of, instead of, yes, we can Good help. Good flip. Yeah. Good, yeah. Right? Turn that inside yes, out. Yes, we help event planners produce events with AI. We use it all the time. 
but we want to make an environment where an attendee who's got a long journey, they've got a whole week of things to do, all these concurrent sessions, where do I go? How do I plan my journey? How do I post event, find that one thing the CEO said, I don't even remember which presentation it was in. How do I find that? Well, we've got something we're calling Event Guru. You can ask the event a question. Right. So, I so love that. So it's right? like, I'm going to be here for three days. Here's what I'm interested in. Map my show, if you will. Exactly. Right. Map my show. Tell me what to do. Post event. Hey, I've got to go back to my team. I just attended this conference on security. I want to give my team the seven most important takeaways that they can now right. go use. Right. Okay. And justify sending event. me again next year. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So there's an ROI element. Yeah. And that will be extreme when your show is um, map personalized for you. Yes. I love the idea of flipping it to the attendee because you're seeing a lot of event uh, tech companies now saying, we're going to know everything about you. Right. And we're going to plan your route. But you're well, flipping it And back. we are very focused on security and data protection, right? So it's your event. So if you do an event with us, your data goes into your event, people are gonna ask your event a question, but we're not gonna let them ask another event a question. So we're keeping it very limited so that you don't have to worry that we're gonna go off and train another model to make other people's events better. Right, so you are actually training your LLMs your, on, on a specific event. So, so let's say, IMAX hires you to... That'd be lovely, yeah. virtual IMAX. Right, <laughs> to do happen. a virtual. But, um, <laughs> well, you never say never. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, to, to go through this, this time in the show. And it's funny because so many virtual shows, and I'm dealing with this now with the show, have a time element. We want to hit the Emirates, we want to hit Australia, we want to hit yeah. Europe, we want to hit New York, and like... God hasn't figured out how to, like, there's no AI. I keep going, <laughs> what's the best time? <laughs> but, there's no AI for that. But you can start to play with AI to localize as best you can yes. what people are interested in. This one happens to be on sustainability. So what are the issues in the Emirates versus the U.S., you know? And start to really drill down into that personalized journey and then map your content yes. on those hours. Yes. It's mind-boggling. Um, what you, and this is how I think event planners are going to have to start thinking, because we've talked about this before. You're limited. IMAX is a great show. Attendance has grown. Exhibitors have grown. But the big growth is going to be in virtual, um, the exponential growth. In I, I hope so. I hope so. And again, I think, I think again, sanity is returning. It's interesting because you and I were chatting a little bit before, right? Like, I look around this event. Um, it's a great event. We are at one end of the hall, yeah. the very we, we end of the hall. We call it the tech ghetto. <laughs> you must wear purple and black. You must wear purple and black. <laughs> and then, but the, the other, all the content happens at the other end. And in between is amazing right. destinations. But I think you said, right, we're never going to yeah. meet. So from my mind, I think this many people here want to talk about virtual because the people here, right, they got in this business to like hug and create these in-person experiences. But here's what's interesting. I was just on the phone before I came in this morning with a very large global company, Enterprise, and they said, you know, internal event. They do an event all about security at their company. They learned, they want to go back in person, but they were like, gee, you know, we found out during the pandemic that a lot more people came and yeah. a lot more people participated when we did it virtually. So even for a company talking to their own employees, yep. they're doing that balance of like, yep. do we get together and hug or do we, are we more inclusive because we're going to offer something virtual? And yeah, and they don't have to be at the same time. They are playing with they temporal don't. stuff, but it is funny. So just to sort of elaborate on this, so you can visit at IMEX, you can visit <laughs> Malaysia, Singapore, Denver, Super Chicago. Cool. You go from destination to destination, but think about the virtual for them too. You know, an event planner does not run around from city to city anymore. They want to meet and, and, and figure out what you have for them, sort of a try before you buy and get to know you and your venue and your team. And I think um, this, this, I call it, we're in the tech ghetto <laughs> of, uh, really of, of IMAX and love it. And I think it's happening more and more. People are 
straggling out. And I know I go over to cities and say, so what are you guys doing, New York City tourism? How are you using AI? And it's amazing what they will tell you. How are you thinking about virtual? Um, how are you going to give a virtual tour? And so I think we're getting there. I think that... I hope so. The, the shock of sort of returning to as normal as we're ever going to get, um, um, I think is tough. But, but um, I could talk to you forever, and I love meet you and the, um, the dedication you bring, first of all, to sustainability Thank you. utmost, because it's so important and, and nobody pays enough attention at this terrible time, especially as events are deciding where they're going to have their event based on climate change. Like, they don't yep. want to, I mean, there's a lot of talk here about where hurricane season will be, what, what, where floods will be. Um, and so it's a different world that we are adapting. And Me Too's like right out there. So kudos to you on that one. Thank you. And um, watch us. Come back. We'll check in with you during the year. That sounds great. And thanks for hosting these. These are always fun to do. Okay. Next year, our color is, um, I, I think, chartreuse. We're going chartreuse. That sounds perfect. Okay. <laughs> Thank All you. Right.